This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, is there a way to mask with the lasso on only a single side of your model? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up and just have an example model file here loaded in. And the question is asking about using the mask lasso brush to mask part of your model. But when you're applying that mask, have the lasso only affect one side. So as an example of this, I'm just going to rotate my model to the side here and get out of perspective. And then I'm gonna select the mask lasso brush. So this can be done by first holding control on your keyboard, which will switch your brush to the mask brush. And then if you come up here and click, this is gonna allow you to select different mask options. So one of the brushes in here is the mask lasso brush. So I'm just gonna come over here and click that. And now whenever I hold down the control key on my keyboard, it's going to switch to the mask lasso. Now the mask lasso brush will allow you to mask using a lasso type functionality. So if you hold down control and then click and drag, you can get this lasso and then you can come through and use the lasso to mask different areas of your model. Now, when you use the mask lasso brush, you're gonna notice that it's always gonna happen in screen space and it's going to project all the way through your mesh. So as you can see, I masked this side of the model, but if I rotate around, you're gonna see it's also masked the back side as well. So the question is asking if there is a way to use the mask lasso brush and have it only affect one side of the mesh, so not have it go all the way through. So by default, there is no way to do this. So any of the lasso brushes, like the mask lasso brush here, is going to always go all the way through your mesh. Now there is a workaround you can do where you can use visibility to hide parts of the model that you don't want to apply the mask to. So for the example here, I'm just going to hide half the model and then I'm going to use the mask lasso on this side, and then it won't affect the other side. So to do this, first I need to hide part of my mesh here. So I'm gonna rotate it to the front like this. I'm gonna hold down Control and Shift. This is gonna give me the Select Rectangle Brush. And then I'm just going to drag a rectangle out and just get about halfway through the mesh here, and then release. This will now isolate the part that was in the green area and hide everything else. So now I should just have half of this model visible on screen. So you can see the back face is totally hidden. So now if I hold down the control key again and get the mask lasso brush, I can now come through and mask out on this part of my mesh, like so. And then after I have a mask established on this one side, if I now hold control and shift again to get the select rectangle brush, and then click off on a blank spot of the canvas, this will return the other side of the model and you can see that the mask has only appeared on one side. So using visibility with the mask lasso brush will allow you to mask half of your mesh. Now using visibility also works well when using masking with alphas. So I'm gonna press comma on my keyboard here to open up Lightbox, and then in here I have some alphas that I'll often use for wear and tear. So I'm just gonna come into this area here and double click to load that in, and then hide Lightbox. And now that I have this alpha selected, I want to apply this to a rectangle masking brush. So I'm going to hold down control again, and then I'm going to change this to mask rectangle. So I'm going to come over here and click that. And then now I'm going to go to the alpha palette here and link that alpha I loaded in. So now I have a masking brush that's set to rectangle, and I have an alpha that's applied to it. So now if I hold control and click and drag, you're going to see I'm able to mask using that alpha. So I can come through and quickly apply this masking to any part of my mesh. Now you notice that this stroke is also going all the way through the mesh. So if I only want it to happen on one side of the model, what I can do is I can clear my mask and then rotate to a front view here, hold down Control and Shift again to get the Select Rectangle Brush. I can now isolate parts of the model that I want only the masking to be applied to. And then now if I use that mask rectangle with that alpha, I can come through and add my masks to the mesh here. So add some damage here. And then now if I return my visibility by holding down Control and Shift and clicking on a blank spot of the canvas, you'll see the entire mesh is returned and that masking has not affected the other side. So this is handy if using this process as well to come through and mask and unmask different parts or areas on your model with alphas and then have it only affect one side of your mesh. So I hope that helps. And if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag Ask ZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.